Hi, my name is Fatima. I'm a member of the Duchamp and Sons group. We're here today at the Whitechapel Gallery to talk to Daniel Herman, curator of the new Gillian Waring exhibition. Thank you for taking the time to talk to us. And my first question is, what is your role within the gallery and on the Gillian Waring exhibition? Uh, my name is Daniel Herman. I'm the Eisler Curator and Head of Curatorial Studies. Um, as a curator, I make exhibitions and I write books and texts about our exhibitions. What role did Gillian play in organising the exhibition? Um, here at the Whitechapel Gallery, we're really privileged that we get to work with lots of amazing artists from all over the world. And for any exhibition, um, we start working with them at a fairly early stage. So for this exhibition, we actually started working with Gillian about three years ago. And uh, the decisions that we make together uh, are very, very detailed, to be honest. Uh, we talk about everything. We talk about uh, the gallery itself. We talk about what to include in the exhibition. We talk about why to include it. We talk about how to include it, how to hang things, how to place things, what colors to use, what lighting to use. All of that is detailed, and it's great to have the artist working with us on all of this. Gillian appears in a lot of her work. How did you decide which images to use? Um, really, for this exhibition, uh, it's supposed to be a survey. It's supposed to show the best of Gillian's works from the 1990s to the present day. For instance, her famous Signs series from 1992 that shows lots of people in a public place holding up a sign with their innermost thoughts for the public to see. Um, for the photographic works, there are a number of themes in the exhibition that we really wanted to illustrate with the inclusion of particular works. Um, some of the most important works in Gillian's uh, photography are her so-called self-portraits. So these are all self-portraits that she does of herself in the mask of somebody else, including making a mask of members of her family or making a mask of members of her spiritual family, um, her idols, artists that, the, that she finds very interesting. Is there a reason behind the use of colour used in this exhibition? Yeah, um, the, the colour is actually really important to Gillian and to the exhibition. Um, Gillian works um, in a style that very often evokes documentary photography, something that immediately, immediately tells us, hey, this is real. Um, however, what she does is all about creating reality, it's about manufacturing reality. And the use of colour um, throws a bit of a spanner into the works of reality. It's not supposed to be reality, it's supposed to be a created reality. And the colour in the frames or downstairs in our installation um, actually is a bit of a signpost pointing at its own artifice, pointing at the way that this was created and that it was deliberately created and that it did not just happen and come about. Why has the Whitechapel Gallery chosen to exhibit Gillian Waring's work now? I think right now is a really important moment in Gillian's career. It's been uh, 20 years since she really came to the fore as one of the most important British artists and she won the Turner Prize in 1997. So there's um, the, the right point at which we want to, to look at how she has been working over the past 20 years and I think it will be crucial to then look forward and seeing what Gillian is going to do over the next 20 years. Daniel, thank you very much for talking about Gillian Waring's work. It's been very interesting.